What is going on, internet? This is going to be recorded for YouTube. So, yeah, just uh, be aware of that. Anyways, so I thought I'd just, before I get into any video games or anything like that, I thought I would just do this Marvel movie tier list. Um, I feel like I'm always talking with my wife about movies and, and video games and like all this stuff. I'm, I'm kind of a critic in the household, but I never actually like sit down and, and make a video criticizing things. <laughs> so this is, this is kind of like an, an entry into that while also not being like a full critique of everything but uh i just thought it'd be fun and interesting to do so that's what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do let's just uh i don't know just go for it should i do it in chronological order like an order of release i think that's what i'll do because i feel like the the most interesting things are gonna be to rate multiverse of madness and eternals and Spider-Man No Way Home. I'll start with Iron Man 1. So Iron Man 1, I think this is pretty obvious that it's uh, it's S tier. It's S tier. I mean, it's it, it's got to be S tier. It's, a, it's the one that kicked it all off. Well, uh, actually, The Incredible Hulk is on here. I think The Incredible Hulk came out first, technically. But... Iron Man was the actual success. Incredible Hulk, which is great. I'll do that one next. The Incredible Hulk with Ed Norton. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's C tier. I, I rewatched it recently, and it does not hold up like in terms of story and character. It, it's all right for the time, but it wasn't really that good. <laughs> I can see why they didn't stick with Ed Norton. I wouldn't say it's D tier, though, because that's... That's a little harsh. Um, let's see. What do we have next? Thor. Thor, I would say, is, is B tier. I rewatched it recently. I'm just thinking. It's a fun movie. Like, it's just a normal superhero movie, which is which is good. It doesn't do anything special. Obviously, Loki is really good as a character in that movie. He, like, he, Loki was just good from the beginning. Um, Thor was, was funny. Um, the Warriors 3 actually have, like, roles in this movie, I guess. So it's sort of interesting in that way. Um, B tier. Yeah, I say B tier. You know, it's a good, Thor is a good baseline Marvel movie. Um, what one comes after that? Iron Man 2, right? Iron Man 2. Is Iron Man 2 A tier or S tier? Oh, Iron Man 2 is is good. It's a good movie. I don't know if it's S tier though. It's a little... I'm going to give it S tier. You know what? I'm going to give it S tier because some of the action scenes are just so good. Like having War Machine and Iron Man there doing uh, doing their thing against the drones at the end. That That's pretty good. It's a little... It, it's a little meandering like there's a like there's a lot kind of going on you have justin hammer and you have the whiplash guy um yeah i don't know it's like it's almost like too many cooks because you have you have the plot line about roadie and, and and tony's relationship kind of on the rocks um him and pepper you know getting in a little bit of a will they won't they then you have Justin Hammer coming in, and it's like, what's he doing? He's causing this trouble. He's he's financing the villain, and then the the actual villain, he's like, just a dude. It, it, it's kind of like there's there's too many things going on, and you know what? I just convinced myself it's a tier. There's there's too many things going on, but the action is so good. The reason Iron Man is S tier, is because it's just it is just one story with like. It, it follows it. It's it's cool. I loved it as a kid. It, it's just it's just a movie about Iron Man. You know, it's it's just solid. Is it S tier though? Yeah, 
it's 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 conclusive iron man one could exist on its own it's just a standalone movie it works you know iron man 2 you need iron man 1 and i don't know i i feel like the sequels are going to start to get a little bit lower ranked so with that what comes after iron man 2 is it the avengers or is it no is, is it captain america it's captain america isn't it where is captain america the first avenger this one here right captain america the first avenger where should i put this one you know i'm gonna put it in a as well i like the captain america movies but this if you go back and watch the first captain america movie it's good it's good it's a good movie especially when it, it focuses on like the character development of, of steve rogers but <laughs> i'm in a, some of the graphics do not hold up in that movie. Like, it's almost cartoonish. Um, there's that one scene where they're in the car in the hangar and they're like driving as fast as they can to catch up to the plane. And it looks like it was made in like a PS2 <laughs> game. Like, it's like a cutscene from a PS2 game. And going back watching it, it's kind of goofy. Uh, it, you know, it's a little, it's a little boring at some parts, and then it's a little rushed at other parts where it just sort of skips through a lot of time and just and just moves on. But it is a really good movie. I'm just thinking, does do do its faults really hold it back? I haven't watched it recently. I actually don't really care to watch the first Avenger very often because it's kind of boring. Yeah, I'll keep it at A tier. I'll keep it at A tier because it is still a good movie. Captain America is always fun. But I'm not I'm not too sure about it being like one of the better movies. It's it's on I think it's even on thin ice for A tier. Uh, let's see what so what after that's the Avengers right so yeah it's the Avengers the Avengers yeah the Avengers I'll give it I'll give it A tier yeah I think I'll give it A tier it, it's not. It, going back and rewatching it, it, it is, it, it's not amazing. It's not like the best thing I've ever seen, but it is a solid, it is a solid action movie. And it has a very easy to follow story and it follows all the, the proper story points. Um, but it isn't going back and now that we have things like, and we'll get to them later. Now we have like things like, uh, like some of the newer movies going back and watching the Avengers is pretty underwhelming um solid story it's just it's like it's not the deepest thing i'm just i'm just trying to think like if i rewatch it now would i be would i be enjoying it or would i feel obligated to finish it and i think that's what keeps it at, at a tier but i'll i'll leave avengers at a tier which is fitting a for avengers what else do we got so after the avengers what is the follow-up I think it's Winter Soldier. It's Iron Man 3 and it's Winter Soldier. And Thor the Dark World. Well, Winter Soldier... Winter Soldier is S tier. Right? I think we can all agree on that. Winter Soldier is S tier. It's one of the best action movies of all time, I would say. Like, especially in the box of Marvel movies. It, it just... It, it's like a spy thriller. It's, it's an action movie. You know, it has an interesting plot. There's a lot of character development. It's just a fun movie. I really like it. I, I would say it's S tier. That's, you know, the Winter Soldier himself is just really cool. Um, so all that's all that's cool. The the reveal that it's Bucky for people who didn't know, like me, that you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I'm I'm down with it. There's not much to say. It's just a solid movie. Like the story makes sense. Um, it's fun. It's interesting. It keeps you engaged the whole time. It, it, a lot of Marvel movies have parts where you just want to turn it off because it gets a little bit boring. You're like, get, come on, get back to the get back to the good stuff. Um, because sometimes you just want you just want good old fashioned superhero action, and we'll we'll get to that later because there's one movie that you're gonna be surprised at my rating because it just has that good old fashioned superhero action you know no bullshit um so yeah captain america winter soldier definitely s tier 
Um, so then we have Thor the Dark World. Um, Thor the Dark World. Everybody's right about this movie. It is not a great movie. It's not a great movie. I don't think it's garbage, but it's, it is boring. It is boring. Um, there is, it's, it's a little bit cool. And the story is somewhat interesting, but it is boring and silly. Um, but I, 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 I feel like I have to put it C tier. I know, I feel like we're not going to really have any D tiers at this rate, but it's not as bad as people say. I'm not going to give it the lowest ranking, but it's not, you know, and I'll, I'll put it behind. Wait, which way should I go? Yeah, no, I'll put it in front of the hole. Anyways, um, yeah, it, it's, it's not great. It's just, you know, it's not awful. I, I, I've, I've watched it more than once. And I think the more recently I've watched it, the better it was. So I can appreciate it now more having watched the other movies. Uh, so after that, we have Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is pretty good. It's not as good as Iron Man and Iron Man 2. I would say. But is it on the same level as the first Thor movie? Is it a B tier? No, I'd say... Uh, um, is it boring? That movie has a lot going on in it, doesn't it? I'll give it... I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. And, but I'll give it a, like a, a low... I'll give it a low A. Yeah, uh, anything anything to the left will be lower on that tier, but still in that tier. Um, so after that, after Iron Man th three, uh, Ant Man maybe, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, is it S tier? I'm 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 leaning more towards S tier. But I, I'm not sure, actually. The first time I watched it, probably S tier. Second time I watched it, I don't know. I just, I hate stupid conflict. I hate, I hate like the interpersonal conflict that is just like kind of bullshit where the, the heroes all get mad at each other for basically no reason. But um, I don't think that it holds it back too much here. Yeah, I, I give it S tier. I give it S tier. Guardians of the Galaxy. It, it's a good it when you really think about it the fact that they took the guardians of the galaxy and turned it into such an interesting movie and it's visually and you know what i think that's what does it it's visually very interesting like there's bright colors you know <laughs> you can judge me if you want but it's high saturation colors like it is very fun and interesting movie and you know what i'm just thinking about the prison scenes you know those are all fun when everybody meets each other it, it just it, it has a strong start it has a strong start as a movie uh and it's fun and interesting to look at so i'll give it i'll give it s tier um and then that brings us to i'll do ant-man next because i forget which which order all the movies came out in but ant-man ant-man is the first ant-man movie is it a or b uh it's i like it i like ant-man especially paul rudd you know as ant-man that's cool but is it an a tier movie or is it a b tier movie because i don't know it's like it's a very simple story you know what i'm gonna give it a tier and yeah i'm gonna put it uh i'm gonna put it in front of iron man 3 the heck there we go i think it is an interesting movie and i do go back and rewatch it um i just don't think it's like it's, it's not a very deep movie <laughs> so <laughs> it just has a lot of great characters and a lot of great actors in it um so it's just you know it's just fun it's just fun um wow this is not a very interesting list so far i think i think most people can sort of agree with this so what do we have next I guess it's Age of Ultron, right? 
Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, let's see. Avengers Age of Ultron. I just rewatched it quite recently. And I think I'm going to give a B tier. I didn't really care much for it when I first watched it. And when I went back and rewatched it, um, it just felt, I don't know. It felt like it didn't earn anything that it was doing like with Ultron and, and Jarvis. I just, I didn't like Tony Stark in this movie. And I felt like it was convoluted. It was a little silly. And there's some great moments. But I don't think that it handled everything exceptionally well. There's just a lot. There's a lot that happens in this movie, Age of Ultron. And none of it, like, stuck with me as like, oh, I want to rewatch the whole movie just for that one part, I don't think. So I would give it a B tier. Um, it's not it's not as bad as the Incredible Hulk or Thor: The Dark World, but it's like, you know, it's just it's not. I wouldn't rewatch it. I don't think very much. It's not something I'm gonna go back for. So I think the next one after that, well, actually we can do Spider Man now. Uh, I forgot to do Spider Man. Spider Man Homecoming. I'll give it S tier. Just for just for the twist the reveal of who the vulture is that was awesome <laughs> when when i seen that in theaters i was blown away that was so well done that was so good i i like that i like that a lot it was just it was a really fun cool movie i like that they didn't reintroduce spider-man they just went for it they just started telling spider-man's story um for this movie and you know i love ned and all that I, I i think it was just it was just a solid movie it was just a solid movie rewatchable and the twist the twist is just so good they did that they did a really good job with that so yeah i think spider-man's s tier spider-man homecoming s s tier um so then we can do I guess we could just do it whatever order I want now. So, Age of Ultron. We can then do... Let's do Civil War. Civil War, S tier, obviously. Obviously. There you go. It's like another Avengers movie, but it it's... It, it, it is just a lot of fun. It has some of the best superhero action Marvel has done. Um... You know, it was just a good time. Um, yeah, the story's good. The story's good. It has a lot. It has a good, it has a, a cool villain who I'm glad we get to see more of. Um, it, yeah, it, it's a good follow up to the Winter Soldier and the Avengers. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just cool. <laughs> it's just, it's just cool to see everybody in the movie and fighting um, and getting shit done. You know. I think it's a little bit of a weak start. I'm gonna put it, put it down here. Obviously, let's put this up here. Yeah. The more I think about it, no, I was gonna put Incredible Hulk down in D tier, but then I remembered that it has the Abomination in it. Um, so it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just remembering the scenes of the Abomination, and I've never read the comics by the way. So this is all just, this is all just watching the movies uh so then we have black panther um black panther it is boring i will say it is a bit boring um i feel like i'm just kind of like waiting for something crazy to happen that whole time um the action is kind of it's good in a lot of parts, but then it's also kind of like weak in other parts. And the visual effects, they kind of slapped on a lot of the visual effects. Maybe it's just me because I'm looking for it all the time. But I'll give it a I'll give it a B tier. It's one of the better B tiers, but it, it but the story, you know what? A tier. I'll, I'll I'll put it at the bottom of A tier. I don't know. It's just 
I, I I liked Black Panther when I first watched it in theaters, but watching it at home, I'm just like, I'm not as, I'm not as enthralled. I, I'm a bit bored by it, and and it's visually just not that interesting, unfortunately. I guess we'll go and do Doctor Strange, the first Doctor Strange movie. So Doctor Strange, yeah, that's that's A tier material. That's A tier, because. You know, that, that's that's just a solid story about somebody overcoming their own ego uh, and becoming better um, despite the odds. Um, it's not... The ending is sort of rushed. The villain is underutilized. And it seems like most of the conflict is just internal conflict for, for Doctor Strange himself. Um, which is fine, which is fine. But but the visuals carry this movie. It's so cool. It, it, visually, it's a it's a very interesting movie. Um, and you know, Benedict Cumberbatch, he's just great in everything he does. So um, there's not much to say about Doctor Strange though. It's just a it's another one of those ones that's just visually interesting um, and has just a solid story rather than an amazing story. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? Oh. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Thor Ragnarok. I think Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok obviously is S tier. It's just, it's funny. It's fun. It's cool. It's visually stunning. Um, a lot of great moments in that movie. Taika Wakiti, Wakiti, Watiti is just so good at dialogue. Um, always a pleasure to see the Hulk. And, um, yeah, I like what they did with Thor's character. Um, I think Valkyrie's cool character. It's just fun. You know, movies are allowed to just be fun, and that's what gives it an S tier, just the fact that it's fun. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a little bit boring. Um, but it's, you know, it's a solid, it is a solid follow-up. Guardians of the Galaxy. I just don't. I feel like I can never rewatch this movie because I it, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot of like emotional stuff and stupid interpersonal conflict and no, I, I just get bored about halfway through it. So I mean, I, I don't really really watch that one very much. But it, it, it the first time I watched it, it was really good. So uh, I'm gonna have to go based off that. My first impressions were definitely this is a good movie. Uh, let's see. So the next one we can do is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, hmm. This one's kind of forgettable. I'll put it in B tier. It's, I like Ant-Man and I like Ant-Man and the Wasp. But when I think about it, nothing really happens in that movie. Other than they get um their mom back. Uh, but, yeah, like, I don't even really remember what, I guess, the ghost lady was fighting them. It's visually cool, but, like, I mean, it, it, it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a nothing burger. Um, but it's not, it's not as bad as Thor the Dark World or the Hulk, so. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that means that the next one is infinity war so infinity war is definitely s tier <laughs> that movie i rewatched that movie multiple times i think I, I don't think anybody can argue with that being s tier um just super cool i mean the ending of that movie just you know it, it blew me away I, I i didn't i didn't even know what to expect um, so that was, that was cool. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You, if you haven't seen this movie yet, you should see it. Um, which I guess brings us to Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel? It, it, it's, I'm thinking B or C. Uh, I'm gonna go C. It was more boring. Well, maybe B. There was a lot of fun stuff with the scrolls. No, I'll go with high. It's 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 just barely in C instead of B. 
but I just it was kind of boring. It was kind of boring. Um but it was it was also kind of cool some parts. Uh I love Samuel Jackson, you know. Um I love Agent Coulson, like seeing them in a movie together. But Brie Larson, I don't know if it was just the direction that was given to her, but it was it was kind of like her face was just neutral the whole time. She wasn't a very enjoyable character. Well, was it Monica Rambo? She was cool. I'll put it low B. I'll put low B. It's not better than Thor. No, it's not. It's not better than Thor. But it's not as bad as The Incredible Hulk? But it's not garbage. Oh, this, this is difficult. There's like no garbage movies, I don't think. All right. I'll just leave it there. Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame. I have to give this... I have to give this an A tier, but it is just barely an A tier. Endgame was insane in theaters. It was so cool. It was amazing. It was epic. I watched it multiple times. Thinking about it now, visually, it is kind of disappointing. The visuals are gray and brown. Gray and brown and black and depressing. And it's hard to see what's happening sometimes. Like, it's, there was so much going on on screen. It was all the same color. It was all brown and gray and black and gross. And the ending is all right, but it seemed forced. The, then after that, the ending is sort of rushed. Especially with, like, the way they handled Captain America. Like, it... I, I like that ending for him, but it didn't feel earned. Obviously an amazing movie, but it's such a depressing color tone. It really drags the movie down and the visuals were just so cluttered. It drags the movie down. I might have to rearrange this list to better represent some of my sentiments here. But yeah, it's a good movie. Just kind of disappointing visually. Um, I guess we can look at Far From Home. Far From Home is another good movie. <laughs> this list is ridiculous. I think I'm going to have to rearrange this. I'm going to put this down here. And then let's put this and this here. And this here. And uh, put this here. Actually put this here. Um, put this here, no, put this here, no, put this here, uh, put this here, uh, yeah, I think, I think this is, yeah, this is a better representation. I, I was feeling, I'm putting too much stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is better. This is better. This is better. This makes more sense. These are more, these are definitely the more middle of the road movies in B tier. And, 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 and C tier is sort of like underwhelming. And D tier is, is just not great. It's just not good. A is, is, is awesome. C is superb. Yeah. Fire from Home. I like the twist. I knew, we all knew Mysterio was up to something. But. You know, it was still satisfying with that twist, with the reveal. Um, yeah, just a just a good movie, lots of fun. So next we have Black Widow. Black Widow. Uh, I would say it's average, and it's like down here with Ant Man. Definitely average. It uh. It was just a fun movie to watch, but it wasn't like anything special. And I think most people agree with that. I, I don't I wouldn't shit on it though. I thought it was neat. It's just, you know, it's not an Avengers. It's not 
It's not Black Panther. It's not Doctor Strange. But, you know, it was good for her. Good for her. They needed to do a Black Widow movie. <laughs> and, you know, what they gave us was par for the course, really. Um, Next, we have Shang-Chi. This is probably a another B tier movie and lower on there it was it was funny and it was interesting um and it was it was kind of neat and all that but it was kind of boring one of those boring ones uh a lot of cool action a lot of cool martial arts and all that stuff cool effects great job just kind of meandering boring I, I didn't really I wasn't like fully invested, I don't think. Um, so then the next one is Eternals. Um, I'm gonna give Eternals uh, uh I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it S for sex scene. No, uh I'm gonna give it the lowest of the A tier, I think. But am I saying it was better than all of these movies? Yeah, and hear me out. Uh, Eternals was cool because it gave us superhero action. They were just they were just superheroes for superhero sake. Like you had a speedster, you had a Superman, you know, you had the guy who can make stuff. Like they just did superhero stuff. And that ending battle against Icarus was so satisfying for my monkey brain that it redeemed the whole movie. Because I, I, I'm just so tired of the regular Marvel action that seeing them just go full superhero with it. And, and a lot of these newer movies are going really comic book superhero like silly with the action and the, and the concepts. And it is more enjoyable than the grounded realistic stuff. Um, so I didn't think it was actually that bad. I don't think it was fantastic story wise. But... You know, it had a lot of redeeming qualities, and I thought it was I, I thought it was interesting. It was interesting. I don't know if it's better than Captain America: The First Avenger, but I, I I feel like I have to put it in A tier just to counterbalance all of the hate that it got for no reason. Well, I can see why it got hate, <laughs> but I didn't think it was that bad. Um, so then we have Spider Way, uh, No Way, Spider Way, Spider Man, <laughs> No Way Home. Uh, obviously S tier. Uh, I gotta rearrange this. I think it was like in here, um, story wise, probably like that. No, do it like that. Yeah, Spider Way, Spider Man No Way Home was crazy, and it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Definitely S tier material, no doubt about it. Um. Yeah, I mean, you just have to watch it and everybody agrees. So, you know, it's whatever. Multiverse of Madness. I just watched this. I have to give it S tier just for Sam Raimi. And we'll put it we'll put it right in right in here. That movie disturbed me. I, I've been seeing this image of one of the deaths of one of the people in the movie. The way that they died has scarred me forever and I fucking hate it. It, it, but anyways, Sam Raimi is amazing and everything he does is amazing. He did a good job on Spider-Man and he did a good job on, um, the evil dead and he did a good job on Dr. Strange and the soundtrack for this new Dr. Strange movie was so good, was so good. And this movie just goes for it. Oh, this movie just goes for it visually. It, it, it just did things differently than regular Marvel movies, and that's what's satisfying about it. And I'm obviously a Marvel fan. I've watched all of these movies in theater when they came out. The, they, they all have sort of a formula to them, and visually, and everybody can sort of agree with this, visually, most of them are not that interesting, or and visually, a lot of them start to, to, to follow the same rules for action. But Multiverse of Madness says fuck your rules we're gonna make the most gruesome marvel movie so far and it's obviously not as bad as like an actual horror movie um or it's not even it's not as bad as the boys it's not as bad as invincible um it's not as bad as 
you know anything that's more like r rated or or 14 a rated or anything like that i was not prepared <laughs> i was not prepared for the level of gruesome that it was even with like a pg-13 rating or whatever it got obviously it's not the most gruesome thing but it, it's still just so unexpected and I, I just i can't get this image out of my head and it, it it's disgusting and it's disturbing but it was so good it was so good it was a lot of fun I, i'm gonna rewatch it when it comes to um rent on my tv and all that and it, i'll probably like it better um but yeah it was it was a lot of fun i'm just i'm glad that marvel's sort of just going batshit insane with things now um and they're not really like following like the realism of iron man and the you know the grounded realism of like these other movies they're kind of going crazy with it and going more comic book with it which is which is frankly awesome um is there anything i want to change about this i think this is a pretty fair man i can't believe hulk is d tier when i was when i was a little kid i would have put hulk at s tier no doubt but now looking back on it and re-watching that movie it, it is really the weakest link it is the weakest link and i think that's why they're they're, they're just kind of soft rebooting the incredible hulk sort of side of things in uh in other media because it's just it, it is the weakest link it's not it's not that great it is definitely not that great um yeah i think that's uh that's pretty much it i don't think there's anything else i want to change about it i think this is a pretty fair pretty fair representation you know what i should add to this though i i should add wait i can add another one oh i could have put an f tier i don't think there are any f tiers should i put another tier above call it uh goaded uh iron man multiverse of madness thor ragnarok uh Winter Soldier. Ugh. I wouldn't say. Well, okay, we'll put we'll put No Way Home there. I think this is I think this is a better representation. Greatest of all time. S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, all that. There's just nothing that's absolute garbage in, in Marvel. I don't think right now. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. <laughs> I I think I've made my point. I think I've I think I've made my point. Oh, I forgot to drink my coffee. I think um I think I'm done with this. But yeah, that is my that is my tier list for all the Marvel movies. Um and you I guess what I would add is that um I think that the TV shows should be included in here. So I'd put Loki as S tier, WandaVision as S tier tier yeah s tier um falcon and winter soldier as a tier and um moon knight as goaded actually s tier s tier it it, it 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 was a little underwhelming at the end but it was so good it was so cool so still s tier um was there another one falcon winter soldier moon knight Loki, WandaVision. All right, let me let me see. Uh, uh, Marvel TV shows, Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield is definitely B, no C tier. Uh, Agent Carter's B tier. Inhumans is F tier. Daredevil is S tier. Jessica Jones is S tier. Luke Cage is goaded. Iron Fist is C tier. Uh, Defenders is C tier. The Punisher is S tier. Uh, I didn't run, watch those ones. I didn't watch that one. 
Uh, WandaVision is S tier. Falcon Winter Soldier, uh, I think I already said is like B tier, C tier. Loki is S tier. What If is A tier. Hawkeye is B tier. Moon Knight is S tier. Uh, yeah. Okay. That covers it. It covers it. All right. I am now going to move over to something else. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to play some Overwatch. Am I? Am I going to play Overwatch? Overwatch or Super Auto Pets or something else. You know what? <laughs> I gotta take a short break and think about it. My brain is frazzled right now. I, thinking about all this Marvel stuff has uh, ruined my brain. 